So guys, you are going to be taken through show day. So this is the official show day. You're going to see my class. You're going to see our comparisons. You're going to see my posing routine that I had to choreograph that night uh, because I realized I'd have to do a 30 second posing routine. It's a little bit different to my previous Star Wars posing routines. And then you're going to get an insight into what we did post show. And check out this amazing sweatshirt. Isn't pretty epic. And this hat. Wearing this because this is WMBF Worlds. Let's get into the vlog. And we move into the middleweight class. Contestants number 145, 152, 157, and 159. And gentlemen, if you can come up forward to the line and stay behind the numbers, please come forward. Stay behind the line, behind the numbers. 145. And stay there. The lighting is the best, so don't get your problem, gentlemen.
closing. Close down. What did you come here for? Okay? pizza place with Matt. Matt is here, Chrissy is here, Cameron is of course here as well and we are at the flour and barley brick oven pizza of course and here's the view. So guys, thought I'd just sit here and talk to you briefly about this. Don't know if you can see that, but it's my second place trophy, uh, which 
I'm very, very happy about. And a great way to cap off the season, to be honest. To be here in Vegas, Las Vegas, uh, at the WNBF World Finals, and to have taken second place is a, a dream come true and a way to finish the season that I never thought I would get the opportunity to. Just as an athlete who's been competing since 2014, and this is my third season now, and in 2014, it, it wasn't a great season for me. My first show, I came second last, I believe, in my novice show. And uh, I didn't get any top three placings in any novice shows that I did. 2017 was a much better season, and I did place in two British finals. Uh, but the caliber of athlete has just got incredible over the years. And so this season to have done six shows, uh, to have always got a top five placing at every show, and for the most part, the top threes, and to have got, oh, I don't even know what it is now, like a, a third, a second, a first. I don't, know. I don't even know where I've come in every show, but it's been all over the shop. But I've been in the mix of being competitive, which for me as an athlete is amazing. And this season for me in, in a summary is, Kind of lit a fire in my ass and told me that I am a bodybuilder, uh, I can do this, and it's given me hope and the goal of now turning pro. I want to turn pro as a WMBF uh, pro would be like my ideal goal. Uh, I'm not necessarily set on the federation, but I do love the federation. I really love what Andrew and Steph are doing with the WMBF UK. Their show was fantastically run, uh, it was really, really good. This journey here. To stage was amazing with the UK team um, and being here at Worlds and the venue and the people has been unreal. I met literally and um, shook so many hands and met so many people, took so many selfies, chatted so much about bodybuilding and I am um, like it makes me want to tear up to think about how many people Revive Stronger as a whole have impacted um, in such a positive way and grown the sport hopefully and I want to continue to do that and grow as an athlete and to have come here and taken second, and to have come here as a coach, and for Jess to have taken third in her show, it's just unreal. It's something I never expected to be able to achieve as a coach or athlete, uh, and I, I think things are only gonna get better from here. So I'm very excited over the next days, and I'll be vlogging this, as you've seen already, had some meals out, so it's just nice, to be honest. People ask me, like, what are you gonna eat? Where are you gonna eat? What do you wanna do? Um, some people, as soon as they came off stage, were going and like buying Dunkin' Donuts because there's two Dunkin' Donuts in this uh, even uh, hotel. And I came, I, I needed some food, and I just came back and ate some food out of the fridge, just some uh, cooked meat, uh, like a, I think I had a glass of milk, a couple of bananas, and an apple, and a protein bar or something. Uh, and then this evening, I've just the, the last night, sorry, I just really was looking forward to a sit-down meal with some people, uh, some friends and someone to just bring me food. So I got some meatballs, I uh, got a pizza, then we just wandered around a lot. Actually hit, ended up hitting 20,000 steps yesterday, I have no idea how. Uh, I really wanted just a milkshake. Uh, I've just been craving it, like a thick milkshake. So we went to this place and I got like a cookies and cream milkshake, was, which was pretty good. Um, and just came back and crashed and haven't actually had much sleep, but we're heading out to Hashagogo, I think, today uh, for breakfast maybe go grab a coffee from Starbucks now uh, and then gonna train at Powerhouse Fitness hopefully uh, which I'm looking forward to and that's what it's gonna be over the next days like enjoying some good food some good company taking in the sights um, doing some cool training sessions hopefully as well using that putting that food to good use and gaining back some body fat because I've been far too lean for far too long so guys I'll leave this little bit of a chat here and uh, I'm sure we will have more fun vlog content to come